And it wasn't until later that um, I was able to um, grow up enough, go through certain experiences uh, that allowed me to open the door again and go back into um, writing prose. The first thing being a nonfiction book called The Invention of Solitude, which was uh, written on the heels of my father's sudden death, sudden and very surprising death at, at age 66 of a heart attack. He just dropped dead. And a uh, man who had been healthy, vigorously healthy all his life, and it was a great, great, great shock to me. And so I, I felt compelled to write about him. And um, so I did that. And and then and then that led to me examining some of my old manuscripts and realizing that there was there was material in there that I I wanted to resurrect and start re reshaping. And then so the New York trilogy then grew out of that. At first it was going to be just that one book. And then, um, but as uh, as I was uh, writing, uh, writing, writing, uh, City of Glass, getting towards the end, I realized that there was something else I did a, a, a few years later. I had written a one act play, um, and um, it was called Blackouts, and uh, I realized that. It was it was not a good play. I was unhappy with it. I, it was never produced. I was just a uh, you know 30, 40 page thing. Um, and uh, but I said there's something in it that reminds me of City of Glass. It's a kind of cousin to this 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 work. And maybe there's something that um, you know can be done with it. And I I, I pulled out that old play manuscript. And realized that if I turned it into a prose narrative, something very small, uh, it might turn into something interesting. And that became Ghosts, which is the middle volume of the trilogy, which is only about 80 or 90 pages long. It's very, it's a very short. Um, it's a kind of fulcrum between the two somewhat longer, longer novella, short novels, I guess you'd call them. Um, and so, and once I had two. I, I thought I have to have three. There have to be three. So that's when the um, the locked room, the third volume, evolved in my head, and I I got to work on that almost immediately after finishing Ghosts, and then suddenly there was a there was a trilogy. I had found an agent, and um, you know we were sending out City of Glass, and nobody wanted to publish it. I mean, it was just rejected by everybody. I think in New York, it's turned down by 17 publishers. It's crazy, huh? Gives you a good perspective on on, on the the publishing mind. Because, you know, the, the those books now, the New York trilogy, you know, since then has been published in 45 different languages. But they didn't want to publish it in New York. Um, and the irony is that when it finally was published, it was published by a Los Angeles small press called Sun and Moon Press. So they were from L.A. and they did the New York trilogy. Baumgartner's Anna Bloom is Baumgartner's wife, and it comes all the way around. Um, uh, uh, this this book um, this book uh, was written um, well under under under. A lot of duress, um, and I was, you know, beginning to become ill with, um, you know, the cancer that I've developed now, and um, uh, which I hope, uh, you know, eventually I will, you know, be cured of. Uh, we will see. I'm still in treatment, um, but I, I somehow managed to do this. Uh, Baumgartner was a book that I, I really truly had no idea what I was doing. I just wrote it. I, I had this feeling about this character, a, a deep connection with him. And and it's it's mostly about, you know, aging, and it's about loss. It's about grief. It's about how we uh, 
you know, in America, you know, we always talk about closure. This is the uh, stupidest idea I've ever heard of. I mean, when someone who is uh, central to your life dies, a part of you dies as well. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's it's not simple. You never get over it. You learn to live with it, I suppose. But um, it's, it's uh, you know, something is is ripped out of you. And I, I, I wanted to explore all that, but I, at the same time, there's a kind of bounce to it. There's, a, there's a lot of humor in Baumgartner and it's, it's, he's muddling along. He's, um, you know, uh, approaching retirement. He's a, a philosopher. Um, his wife died 10 years earlier. He, he gets it into his head. He wants to get married to, somebody else now finally well of course i won't say what happens but it's almost inevitable what does happen um and um um i don't know there it is it's about it's about it's about what i don't know being alive being alive in within yourself it's about one's relationship to oneself one's memories um and um, you know the the connections we feel with other with other people, how how vital they are. Um, and um, so there it is. It's it's coming out. I don't know when this is going to be aired on your show, but um, it's coming out in early November. And um, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, people seem to have liked it so far. I mean, my publishers around the world are excited. Uh, I don't know what to think. I don't even know if it's good. I, I don't even know anything. Um, just I, I, I would, I would write. There are five chapters. I would write. <laughs> I would write the first one. I, I gave it to Siri. I said, "What do you think of this?" She said, "Oh, I like it a lot. Just go on." And I, all right. Second one, same thing. I like it. Don't change anything. Just go on. And and so that just persisted till till the end. And uh and here we are. And um <laughs> I'm I'm glad.